All right, you guys, I have a confession to make and it's that I, K of passports and pizza pies make bad buys. So let's talk about that and get into a what's sold. Hey guys, you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller, mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do sell locally as well at an antique mall and occasionally on Mercari Depop Facebook Marketplace. And like I said in the intro, I make bad buys. I have been a reseller for over five years. I started in the summer of 2018, so that brings us to about five and a half years. And I have made quite a few bad buys in my day. I still do occasionally. And I have held on to a lot of them. Um, so what I did over Thanksgiving weekend, um, starting on Thursday on actual Thanksgiving and continuing through the end of the weekend, you know, with Black Friday sales and Small Business Saturday, trying to compete um, with that kind of thing, um, I sent off 50% off offers to my Poshmark closet, um, anything that was over 100 days old, and then I put everything over 100 days old also in my eBay store on 50% off sale. So yeah, I was able to make 30 sales for 31 items. I had 14 on eBay, which has been my underperforming platform this year, and 16 on Poshmark with one bundle sale of two items, so that gives us the 31 items. And the total sales was just under $450. Um, so for 30 sales, you know that means that I sold a lot of really cheap stuff. So let's get into what sold. I haven't done one of these in quite a while um, since I did my little YouTube hiatus for a few weeks. But um, yeah, I figure I will share with you things that have been sitting in some cases since 2019. Um, which isn't too long after I started reselling as a side hustle. Um, so maybe you guys can be wary of these things and maybe not pick them up, especially if you know that these brands or styles um, don't do well for you. Um, everybody's different, so what I don't do well with, you might do well with, so your mileage may vary as always with these types of videos, but I think it's important to share this type of knowledge, so Let's get into it. We'll start with eBay first since that one was the worst performing platform of the weekend. I didn't make sales anywhere else besides my antique mall, but that's that's a totally different video. Um, so we'll go with eBay first and then Poshmark and I'll give you some numbers per platform and then I'll give you the combined total for the weekend. So we're starting Thursday and going through Sunday. So on eBay, I'm gonna move over cause I'm going to show you guys the listings um, for both eBay and Poshmark as I'm talking about the item. So for eBay, I had 14 sales like I mentioned. So on Thursday the 23rd, I only had one sale. On eBay, it was this Nike Girls Skull Print Thermal shirt. Um, this took one and a half years to sell. I didn't pay anything for it because I actually had purchased it a while before then um, for my daughter and she got tired of wearing it and grew out of it. So I decided to list it and it sold for $8.50. Starting out with a banger, guys. All right, so then on the 24th, which would have been Black Friday, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sales for eBay. Sorry about the lighting, it's like midday. I'm on my lunch break from my full-time job right now, so it might go in and out. Um, the first item was something I got from a ThreadUp Fun Box. I have a huge ThreadUp addiction. I love to get ThreadUp boxes. I used to do the Fun Boxes with my daughter. Um, she hasn't really wanted to do any. I still have two sitting over here, so we'll see what happens with those. But I love the Fun Boxes. I love all the ThreadUp boxes pretty much. Um, hit or miss luck with them, but I just love the mystery. Anyways, I digress. So this item came from a ThreadUp Fun Box. It was a new We Pro Fitbit watch band in green. I actually got two of these. I had one green one and I have still one black one that hasn't sold. Unfortunately, it didn't sell on 50% off either. Eh. All right, so I paid $2.59 for each item that came in this ThreadUp Fun Box. 
and it sold for three dollars and 37 cents so yeah not making a lot of money there it did take nine months to sell so that means that i got that fun box in 2023 yeah I uh, probably made a few cents after fees and shipping. Um, by the way, my buyers always pay for shipping on eBay. I do not offer free shipping ever. Uh, the next was a decent sale. This is, I think, the best sale out of this whole weekend combined platform wise. Uh, this is a Desi Gual colorful white full zip hoodie. I paid $6.99 for this. Um, it took six weeks to sell. I listed it at $60 and took an offer of $45. So yeah, we gotta have a couple winners here and there that aren't 50% off, but the majority, I'd probably say 85 if not higher percent of my sales this weekend were 50% off or more because I had quite a few people that countered because you know 50% off apparently wasn't enough of a deal for the, some of these people that they countered and because I was so desperate to move out these items, I let them go for even less money. All right, so next is a Leonard Skinner gold and platinum cassette tape. I got at the bins, well, it took 10 months to sell. So around the beginning of the year, January, February, I found a huge case of cassette tapes at the bins and I picked them all up. So my bins is $2 a pound for media and I ended up paying just four cents per cassette tape um, because I you only got charged $2 a pound. I mean, sorry. 50 cents a pound is $2 for everything else. So 50 cents a pound for the media. So it worked out to four cents. I had a bunch of them, a bunch sold at the beginning when I first listed them all. This one obviously took quite a bit of time to sell, 10 months, like I said, and it sold for $2. Good thing I only paid four cents to move it into $2. Next was an item that my daughter had found. So if you're new here, we have an agreement where um, since she thrifts with me a lot of the time now because she likes to search for clothing for her own closet, if she finds something that I can resell, if and when it sells, I give her a half of the profits. Um, so she will get half of the profits from this sale. This was an Athleta Pacifica Illumi UPF tank. It was a double extra small, so a two XS. Um, I think that's partially why it took so long to sell. I paid $6.70 for this um, and it only sold for $12.50 so I'm not even doubling my money there and it took one year and four months to sell so we sourced this last year. Next is another activewear piece. This is Champion. I don't really pick up Champion much anymore, if ever. Um, it was actually on the brands that I am breaking up with in my uh, Valentine's video from earlier this year. Uh, just hasn't been performing well, but I still have a couple stragglers from prior to making that um, decision not to pick it up. So this is Champion Reverse Weave Yellow Shorts. They were like a sweat short. Um, I paid $3.49 for them. They took one and a half years to sell for $11. Yeah, this this is the theme of this video. Um, so next is a full price sale, and this was another one where Liv had found this item and handed it to me. Um, so this was a new with tags, vintage, so NOS or new old stock. Um, I highly recommend if you find vintage items that still have the tag instead of using dead stock because you can use that as well as interchangeable with new old stock. I would put NOS in all capital letters in your title or somewhere in your description. People do search for that on eBay and Poshmark even. Um, so this was a new old stock vintage Disney Winnie the Pooh wallet. It was like a fabric wallet with a Winnie the Pooh graphic on it. Um, and I'm pretty sure it came from like Walmart or something. And I paid $1.39 for this. It sold in two months full price for $19.99. And then the last sale on eBay for Black Friday was the original TV Christmas Classics DVD set. It had like Rudolph, Frosty, all of those old timey Christmas movies. And this was a personal thing that I had for quite a few years and decided to just let it go because we literally never watched them. We watched the same couple movies every Christmas season. We watched The Holiday, Love Actually, and Christmas Vacation. Um, so we never watched them. Uh, so my cost of goods is zero. It just came from my own home and it sold in nine months for a whopping 
Okay, moving on to the 26th, which would have been Sunday, so I didn't make any sales on eBay for a small business Saturday, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, so on Sunday, I made one, two, three, four, five, six sales. The first of which was a Lululemon and Soul Cycle. So Lululemon X Soul Cycle. Soul Cycle has collabs with a bunch of different activewear brands, Lululemon being one of them. Um, and this was a green quarter zip pullover. I paid $6.64 for this and it sold for 18. I definitely had this for over a year. The next item that sold was also another Lululemon piece. This one didn't have a SoulCycle affiliation. This was the Lululemon Star Runner Pullover in Slalom Stripe Pink. This was another live find. Um, I, we sourced this back in May. We went thrifting for Mother's Day and um, she found this in the store and handed it to me. I paid $7 for it and it sold for 15, so basically just doubling my money there. Um, next was a vintage item. This came in a little baggie. If you're familiar with like Savers or Value Vi Village, um, as it's known elsewhere in the country, um, they have like usually a wall of bags of stuff. And I had picked up one bag that had a pink um, Texas Instruments calculator in it. And this item was in there and I decided to just list it. Uh, so this was a vintage cross is the brand cross. Chrome Century Ballpoint Pen with blue ink. I paid $1.49 for it because it just, like I said, came in that bag with other stuff. And I listed it for $10 and it sold for five. The person's first offer was $2 and I decided not to take that. So I just straight up declined it. Then they came back at three, four and five. And finally five, even though it was half of what I listed it and it hadn't been listed that long, just uh, two weeks, it looks like. I decided to take it anyway, just because this isn't something that I normally would pick up to sell. It's just a ballpoint pen, so bye. All right, next is another thread up item that came from a fun box, again, like the WePro uh, Fitbit watch band. And this also came from earlier this year at the beginning part of the year. This is a Kate Spade set of two journals. They were brand new, never been opened, still in the packaging. Um, my cost of goods for that thread up box was $4.05 per item and they sold for $10. All right, next we sold a squish and I think I made a few cents on this as well. Um, this was a Squishmallow Aaron the Gorilla. I picked this up in Minneapolis um, last year in February. So almost two years old because, you know, we're in November. Um, and I paid $5.55 for it at the Five Below inside um, the Mall of America and it sold half off for $7.99. Yeah. I've been moving most of my Squishmallows to my antique booth, if you didn't know, and they've been selling really well over there, just not for a lot of profit because I'm basically just making my investment back. They haven't been moving for me anywhere else, so I'm just trying to offload them so I can make room for more things. And the last thing that sold on eBay for this holiday weekend was a Disney Vinylmation Peg Leg Pete figure. He was maybe like this big, the size of like a mini Funko Pop, if you are familiar with those. I only paid a dollar for it. It was again in a bag of bags in the toy section this time. And so I had a few other things that I pulled from that same bag to list and sell. This took 10 months to sell cost is a dollar is sold for six dollars so not too bad six dollars for a little tiny figure even though it was half off of my price it's still st sold for a decent amount for what it is in my opinion so for those 14 sales on ebay the gross sales this doesn't include anything buyers pay for shipping was 169 and 34 cents not lovely uh, making my asp or average sales price 13 dollars and 56 cents my cost of goods for all 14 items was $46.93, making my average cost of goods $3.35. I love to stay at around $5 and under, which is why I love to go to the bins because the cost of goods is just unbeatable unless you're getting stuff for free, obviously. And then my total profit for the eBay platform for the four day weekend was $95.14. So only making not even $100 off of 14 sales not not the best way to run my business but i moved out 14 items and like 12 of them were really old 
All right, moving on to Poshmark. I had 16 sales there, 17 items. Like I said, there is one two item bundle in here. So on Thursday, Thanksgiving, 11.23, I had one, two, three, four, five, six sales. The first one um, was a Lunya Gray Restore Muscle Tank in a size extra large. I love picking up Lunya or Lunya, I'm not quite sure how to say it to be honest with you. Um, this is like a intimates and sleepwear brand. It usually does really well for me, um, but this took seven months to sell. I paid $7.49. And it was a promoted listing on Poshmark. I am still doing that though. I dropped my weekly to $20 because um, the sales just haven't been there. Uh, so I am doing the minimum. And this is the only promoted Poshmark listing for this whole <laughs> time period. And so I paid $7.49, like I said, and it sold for $16. Not making a lot there, as is the case with the majority of these items. All right, so next was something I sourced in 2020 from Poshmark back when COVID had first hit and all the stores in my area were closed. Um, so I went on Poshmark to source because that was the only place I could really source besides posting on the Nextdoor app and trying to find people that were willing to give me free clothing um, that I could list and sell. Um, so yeah, that means this took three and a half years to sell. It was new with tags too and from Urban Outfitters, so I'm not quite sure why it took so long. Um, but the, like I said, Urban Outfitters, it was coincidence and chance. That's like the label that sells in, at Urban Outfitters. And this was called the Revel Dress. It was blue, it was really pretty, I thought. I paid $5.20 for this item um, and it only sold for 15. So uh, that's $12 before the shipping discount from Poshmark um, that I would get in earnings. So yeah. Next is a Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic Cocoon Cardi in Vintage Rose. That was the color. Um, this took just over a year to sell, 13 months. I paid $6.99 for it and it only sold for $20. Um, I think I had this listed at $60. Barefoot Dreams just honestly hasn't been doing too well for me. Thankfully, I don't find it too often. I actually just found one um, this past weekend and I didn't pick it up because it was all matted and gross looking. So I decided to leave that behind. And knowing that it, this took 13 months to sell for only $20, I don't know if I'd pick it up again unless it was at the bins or something like that. I'm definitely more liable to pick up um, items from the bins that I know don't do so hot for me just because the cost is so good. It's, it's a problem. I'm not working on it, but it's a problem. All right, next is an item that has taken the longest to sell out of everything that I'm talking about in this video. This was a Puma core jacket full zip. I sourced this in November of 2019 from the bins is 2023 so that's a full four years that it took for this to sell i paid a dollar 25 for it luckily since again bins and it sold for eight bucks on poshmark minus their 20 percent and my shipping discount yeah you could do the math next is another thread up sale this was a pair of steve madden wink with three k's I don't know, that's the name of it. Black suede booties. They were a very small size, five and a half, which I think contributed to why it took so long for them to sell, a year and two months to be specific. I paid $4.80 for them from that thread up shoe box, which I haven't gotten one, I don't think, for all of 2023, and I need to change that before the end of the year. Um, but yeah, $4.80 into an $11 sale. Next is a Peloton item. I love sourcing Peloton. I purchased a Peloton off Facebook Marketplace for myself earlier this year and it's the best investment I've made in myself in quite a long time. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. I will willingly pay the $33 a month for the membership because I use it consistently. Um, but anyway, Peloton gear usually sells pretty well for me, uh, but this one, not so much. It did only take six months to sell, which for most of this list isn't that bad, um, but I paid A63 for it. It was the Peloton Limitless Logo Crew Neck Sweatshirt and it sold for $20. Okay, now we have the Black Friday sales from 11.24 and I had three five on Poshmark. So the first one was this Anthropology Saturday Sunday Green Surplice Top. I don't remember where I got this from. I only paid $2.44 for it, so it couldn't have been the bins 
but for some reason I feel like it was the bin so maybe that was just like a heavy shoe day or something and that brought up my cost of goods but in any case it took a year and three months to sell I thought it was really cute but anthro is hit or miss for me so I don't really often pick it up anymore same with free people which yes I know it's sold at anthropology but it's a completely separate brand as well um and yeah 244 and it sold for nine dollars next was an item that i had no idea how to price to be fair i priced it at a hundred dollars because i couldn't find any sold comps and i didn't even know that this company made clothing so uh the brand is away travel so they make like the suitcases and travel bags things like that and i personally like that brand for travel gear um, but this was an ivory nylon bomber jacket for men and like I said I couldn't find anything on this item I decided to still pick it up anyway even though my cost of goods was ten dollars and eighty three cents thinking that maybe I could sell it as well as the rest of their items sell because I mean the real rail even takes away suitcases and sells them there um, but it did not turn out to be the best idea because it only sold for thirty dollars again I listed it at a hundred it sold for thirty dollars so that was that's what 70% off not 50% off uh, yeah so this was a counter but it took a year and nine months to sell and yeah I don't think I'd pick up that brand again if I ever found it in clothing unless it's a suitcase or a bag I'm not not doing it all right so next sale I lost money on okay so this was a pair of Vans TB4, TBR4 I have no idea what that is gray canvas sneakers in a size 10 I believe they were women's and they had like Aztec pattern laces or something like that I'm trying to remember because I shipped this all out a few days ago and my memory is trash um, I paid four dollars and ninety nine cents for these two and a half years ago in February of 2021 to be more specific would I pick them up again no I don't even pick up vans unless they are like a novelty print like the Harry Potter ones do well. I found ones uh, with like boobs all over them one time and sadly I didn't pick them up because the thrift wanted like $20. Probably should have because I definitely could have at least doubled my money on those. Um, or I've sold Spongebob vans but the basic ones just like the solid colors, nope. It's a miss for me. Um, so yeah, $4.99 and they sold for $7. So I lost $0.94 cents after the Poshmark 20% and my shipping discount. Mm. Okay, next is another activewear piece. Um, this was a pair of Athleta Alation Velvet Tights in pink and they were extra small. Uh, these took seven months to sell, so not too bad compared to the rest of these items. Um, I paid $7.59 for them and they sold for $15, so essentially doubling my money. And that's before fees. Um, another activewear piece, this is Balance Athletica. It took me forever to find this brand for the first time. I think I only found it two years ago um, and I've been reselling for over five years. And I do a lot of sourcing in the activewear section. That's pretty much my main bread and butter is activewear. Um, so I don't know I continue to pick it up because I don't find it too often but it just doesn't perform that well for me so I probably should leave it behind but like I said I have problems and I don't do anything to fix them so yeah balance athletica rust ascend seamless waffle knit leggings these took seven months to sell so I sourced them around the same time as the previous item the uh athleta elation velvet tights I paid eight dollars and sixty cents for these and they sold for twenty dollars all right, so now we have sales from Small Business Saturday, so November 25th, and I have one, two, three, four, five. So I didn't make any sales on Sunday on Poshmark, just on Saturday. And this one has the bundle sale in it. So the first item is something I had just listed. It took four days to sell, and they were from my personal closet. So my cost of goods is zero because I've already consumed that cost, and I never even bought them with the intention to resell. Uh, but these were a pair of Nike black and white ashen modern sneakers. I listed these at $35. I've just been going through my stuff because I really don't need this much stuff for personal items. Reselling is a completely different animal. It's stored out in my shed. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to live amongst it. Um, but yeah, I have a small house and I need to offload some of my own stuff. So I listed these at $35 and again, they sold in four days for $25. Then I sold a Patagonia item. 
Patagonia has fallen off a little bit for me. I know a lot of other resellers have talked about this as well, um, but this item I know took so long to sell because it had a company brand on it and I was not about to sit there and try to pull out all the threads. This, nope. I have a full-time job I just don't have the patience or the time to do that so I listed it as is um, and it took a year to sell I think because of that uh, so this was a Patagonia cinchilla vest with the guild which is a uh, place in Pawtucket Rhode Island which is where I live Rhode Island um, yeah so like I said I think that contributed so I paid five dollars and fifty nine cents and it sold for eighteen dollars Next is the bundle sale. So the bundle was two items, two tops. The first was the Mountain. Uh, I love the Mountain personally as a brand. Um, they don't sell for a whole lot of money unless you find really cool vintage ones. Like I've sold some cool old fairy um, ones and those did pretty well. But this one just had like a scary wolf face on it. Um, and I paid $2.39 for that. And then the other item that sold was a Madewell um, and O'Key Studio. I don't quite know what O'Key Studio is, um, but it was an easy crop tee that I paid $3.19 for. Both of those items I found one and a half years ago, um, and they both happened to sell in the same bundle, and the bundle price was $20. I think with the 50% off offers that I had sent out with my Flipbot, it worked out to like $22.50, and she just bundled them and then sent $20. I'm fine with that. All right, last two items. Uh, first is an Athleta Black Stellar Tight and another double XS size, um, like the other pair on the eBay side. Athleta, last year for all of 2022, I can't speak, I've been talking too long. Um, for all of 2022, Athleta was my best performing brand. I sold so much Athleta that it outweighed anything else that I sold, including Lululemon, which conveniently enough is this year's best selling brand. Um, but lately it's just fallen off for me in a big way. Uh, this, these took a year and two months to sell. I sourced them back in 2021 and I paid $6.79 for them, and they sold for $24. And then the last sale that we're gonna talk about is Lululemon, conveniently enough. Uh, Lululemon crew neck short sleeve. It was a men's t-shirt in black. Honestly, I should have pulled this and just wore it myself because it was a small men's size, so it wouldn't have been super oversized, and who's gonna really notice that the symbol had the little um, square brackets around it indicating that it's a men's item and plus I work out from right there so like I said who's gonna know no one um, and I should have kept it because I made a single penny on this item uh, it took 13 months to sell I paid eight dollars and four cents it sold for eleven dollars and after the fees and my shipping discount it was eight dollars and five cents in earnings so literally 